All right, hello everyone, my name is Min, and today I'll show you guys how to install EFP v4. So the first thing that you'll have to do is join our official EFP Discord and click on the blue thing that's gonna appear up here when you first join. And after that, just read the rules and then when you're done, you can just click on the uh, reaction role to gain access to the entirety of the server. And then after that, you can just go ahead and click on into install EFP v4, scroll up, and then you'll see everything that you'll need to install basically. The first thing that we'll have to install is Anomaly and we'll use the latest version. So just click on this download button. Uh, we also have a uh, magnet link that we can use. We just press on read more and then scroll down and you'll have this uh, magnet link which you can just click and then uh, you should be able to just download via torrent. Then after that just download the uh, Anomaly 1.5.2 which is the latest version. Um, just do as I say right now, and uh, I'll just show you guys how to do everything later on. And next up is to install 7-step, and yes, we need to use 7-step since WinRAR does not extract everything that needs to be extracted. I know this because I am a part of the EFP team, and I have troubleshooted a bunch of cases. And we have come to the conclusion that 7-step just causes less problem, or none at all, so just take my word for it please, just install 7-step. And the next thing that we'll have to install is of course the main files itself. I'm going to use this Google Drive link, click in, and I'm going to control click both of this, and then right click, and I'm going to press install. Now we also provide media file link, which you can also use, and I'll see if I can add like a mega link or something later on. And of course we also have a link for future updates. You can uh, get notifications by going to the reactions roll and clicking on the updated notifications. And pretty much everything else in this channel is just change log and a bunch of um, EFP modifications and updates so you can read this if you want. We also have a mod list here which you can check out. Alright, so after everything is done, you should have something that looks like this. We are then going to go into this PC and we're going to be selecting a drive. Use the fastest one that you have. Mine is the B drive. Open new window and we are basically going to go back into the downloads folder. And now we are going to be making two folders. One is going to be called EFP and the second one we are going to be calling MO2. And after that we are going to go into the EFP folder and we are going to be extracting everything from the anomaly 1.5.2. And basically just drag and drop. It's going to take a while but I have the power of editing so you guys don't have to watch, basically. After that, we are basically going to upgrade Anomaly to Anomaly 1.5.2 by dragging these files. And uh, yeah, you just replace in. And uh, just wait for it to load. Click on the replace button. And now your Anomaly is up to date. We're just gonna run Vanilla Anomaly once. After you're inside the game, you can just log off like this. Afterwards, we are going to be doing one last thing, and that is to extract everything from the EFP anomaly folder. This one is going to be quick, so just drag in and replace. Now done. We don't have to do anything in this folder anymore, it's done, everything's up to date. We are going to go into the EMO2 folder and basically do what you have done before, just drag and drop. Make sure that it is in the EF, uh, MO2 folder and not in the anomaly folder. After that, basically, just go into your EFP MO2 folder. This one is going to be taking the longest time. Um, I would guess about 10 minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. And yeah, after that, uh, after that's done, you just click replace files and you should be good to go. Alright, so after everything is done, you can just go ahead and click off the downloads folder. And basically, you're just going to be launching MO2. Uh, Alright, so I'm just gonna click this off, but basically if you don't want any trouble, just launch in admin mode and uh, create a portable instance. Now go into browse and we're just gonna be clicking once on the EFP folder and select folder. Afterwards, you just click next, next. Now if you are using Bitdefender as your antivirus, make sure to make an exception for MO2 because it will fuck up on the launch or the installation part i do not recall but it will fuck up and yeah after that click no and we are just going to be selecting the correct profile on mo2 which is efp 4.0 
After that, just make sure that everything is set correctly. That EFP, start of EFP category is on top and the end of EFP is on the bottom. And yeah, basically you can go ahead and press the run button, select whatever direct version that your computer supports and click on the reset graphics button. Make sure that it is set on 16 by 9 resolution or 1080p. After that, just click once on the lead shader cache and you can play the game. Now, if you don't want to launch through MO2 all the time, you can go ahead and make a shortcut, press this top and basically you can now just rename this to whatever you want i'm just gonna name mine efp v4 and if you want an icon like mine you can go ahead and right click go into properties change icon press browse and then go back into your mo2 folder and select any of the icon that you see here press apply and yeah that's pretty much it um it's pretty easy to do if you click on it it should just launch the uh anomaly launch you right away and if you have any issues that happen during the uh, installation or any crashes that you have to uh, solve you can go ahead and make a post on the base EFP support and uh, select whatever tag that you need help with and just press the post button and that's pretty much it thank you for watching bye